Hey guys, welcome back to China Tech, and today I just wanted to give you a quick overview of setting up the Xiaomi Mi Band 3 and just sort of run you through the process of setting it up once you've taken it out of the box. So with that said, let's just jump straight into it. So you might have seen my quick unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi Band 3 a few days ago. You can check that video out if you haven't already. But the first thing you want to do once you've taken your Mi Band out of the box is actually just charge it up. So I found that my Mi Band was completely dead when I pulled it out of the box. I was a bit worried. I thought it was broken, but turns out it actually just had no charge in it. So to charge it up, I've just got this battery connected to the charging cord that comes in the box. So you just want to pop the Mi Band out of its band by just pulling it out of the band. And once you've got the unit itself, you can see I've got the unit here. It's got two pins on the bottom and these will actually plug into the charging cord. So you can see if I line them up and just press in the Mi Band into the bottom, there we go. So this will say charging. If it is dead, then it might take just a few more minutes for that to come up. But once you have got it charging up and correctly connected into the cord, I would just recommend you leave it for an hour or two just to let it fully charge up. Once you have charged it up though, you can simply disconnect it out and then grab the band and plug it back in. So all you've got to do for that is just get it lined up on the bottom and then just firmly press it in. And you can see it is back in the band and we just want to twist it a bit so it lines up straight and there you go. So it won't come up like this, it'll come up with some instructions to connect it to your phone. I'll uh, hopefully have a bit of video up showing that now. But once you're up to that stage, you want to grab out your phone and on your phone, you want to download this app, the Mi Fit app. So if you can see that, that is the app that you use to connect to the Xiaomi Mi Band. So you want to open that app up. And I've got mine already set up. For you though, as it's the first time you're gonna be using that app, it'll ask you to actually sign up for an account. And what it actually is just asking is for a few little bits of information. And then you can just log in with, you know, a Google account or some other social account you've already got. You will though need to fill in just a brief bit of information on, you know, your height, your weight, your age and stuff, just to give it a bit of initial information so that it can correctly calculate your health data, your steps and stuff. So once you've actually got it all set up and logged in, you'll be greeted by sort of a screen that looks something like this, the Mi Band will come up and odds are it's going to have a lot of updates it needs to do. So it should just automatically start updating and again honestly I would just leave your band down for about 20 minutes or so, that's how long it took for mine. You just want to leave it there for a while so it can do all those updates and then you'll be ready to go. And now once all the updates are done you should be ready to use your Mi Band. So at this stage it'll be something similar to mine. So you can press this middle button here, this sort of little dimple to actually wake up the screen on the Mi Band and you can see as we swipe around we can get to different parts of the Mi Band. So starting at the front, this is the clock obviously, just the watch face. One swipe down will get you to your steps and you can scroll over to see the distance and the calories you've burned as well as the battery life of the watch. By pressing this middle button we'll get back to the steps, that first page, and we can swipe down now to get to heart rate. So you can actually manually measure the heart rate yourself. So if it's on our wrist we can just press and hold that button You'll feel a little vibration and then I'm just going to keep the button held down as it's measuring my heart rate and there you go. So it's given us a heart rate reading. Swiping down one more, you can see we get to the actual weather. So you can see this is today's weather, it's cloudy and rainy which it sure is outside. One over we can get to tomorrow's weather and then another would be two days from now. So I'm filming on Saturday, you can see we're getting up to Monday's weather on our watch. Scrolling down once more you can see we can actually start a workout, so either a treadmill workout or just some exercise. So if I press and hold to start that, you'll see it's going to give us a quick countdown and vibrate. And then it is actually going to show up a bit of a different screen, start timing our workout and measuring how we're going. Swiping down once more, we can get to the notifications. So I haven't actually got any notifications on my phone, but you should be able to swipe along here to read all the different notifications you've been sent. Swiping down once more though, and we are getting into the settings and uh, extra stuff on this watch. So we can go once over to the actual stopwatch. So I can press and hold and it'll just start a stopwatch. And then I can tap the sides to stop and start it. If I pause it and then press and hold this, we can turn it off. Swiping over again, we can silence our phone. Swiping over again, we can actually find our phone. So I won't do it now, but pressing holding this will make our phone ring very loudly so we can find it. Once over again, we can actually change the watch face. So if I press and hold, you'll see there are three that we can select from. I like the top though, so I'm gonna leave it like that. 
And then lastly, we can factory reset the watch and find out a little bit more information. With that said though, that is pretty much all you need to do to get started using your Xiaomi Mi Band 3. So we've pretty much got it all ready to go. We've set it up, hopefully customised a few settings for you. And now really all you need to do is get it on your wrist so you can just put it on. And now you are ready to use the Xiaomi Mi Band 3. So I'm definitely going to have a lot more videos on this Mi Band 3 coming up. If you do want to see more, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. As well, I'd love to hear some suggestions for videos in the video description. So, you know, what stuff do you want to see about this Mi Band 3? Do you want a battery review? Do you want a water depth test? I'm open to all of those, so leave those suggestions in the comments section. With that said though, thanks for watching another video from China Tech, and I'll catch you in the next video.